I always remember the first time I saw him. He was this goofy, curly redhead bloke, gap in his teeth, just a real dork looking kind of guy. But he, as soon as you started talking to him, you, real, you realised that he had a bit of spunk about him. Well, I've never seen a bloke eat as much as what Ruffy does. Certainly loves his tucker, the big fella. Growing up, he was probably the pastiest bloke I'd ever seen. Oh, we try and teach Ruffy how to fish in Noosa. Um, my nine-year-old's a better fisherman than um, Ruffy is. I watched him nearly every week in his first few years when I was still coming through with Lean Gather and he uh, got drafted and um, you know, I remember him kicking a couple of big snags on his left from outside 50, so I'd swing down to Little Parrot Park in Lean Gather. I think it was about a 30-metre line instead of a 50 and act like I was kicking snags like Ruff. His OCD has been widely talked about. It's like someone that just can't process anything in their mind. It's like I can't deal with the untidiness of the room. To the, to the point where at the end of when we used to room together, I would deliberately just leave stuff lying around the floor and I'd be sitting in my bed and just watching him and I could see that he was looking at it and eventually it would just get the better of him and just he'd have to go pick it up, put it on the shelf and then he could go back and actually relax. First time I met Ruffy was oh, on a basketball court somewhere, probably Moe Mall. He was just the, the redhead kid in the best side always in um, Lean Gatha. So, yeah, first off, I didn't really like him much at all because his side always beat my side. He actually had this, like, real big sort of leg kick when he'd shoot a three and, like, cock his legs out, looked like a bit of a C. I remember going to try and emulate that in the backyard as well when I was watching him growing up. There was one incident in the backyard when I was probably five or six and Jared's come through and shirt in front of me. Being five years old, he's quite bigger than me and left me for dead knocked my tooth out and continued to run on and kick the goal and I searched for the next two hours to find my tooth for the tooth fairy and no help from the big bro. Can't believe I admired him so much, a bit weird, but yeah. Oh, he's, he's very proud to be a one club player, that's for sure, and, and that sums Ruffy up as a bloke. He's a very loyal person and, and he's stuck by the club. He's been there for 15 years and he'll go down as a greater Hawthorne football club. This is just a new chapter for us and, and the start of, you know, perhaps the best you know, part of our lives and um, young family and, yeah, plenty of golf for him and <laughs> new challenges and, I mean, he'll probably still stack the dishwasher, restack it after I've stacked it and he'll still probably cook the same bolognese with a thousand mushrooms and walk the same aisle that he does at the supermarket, but that's just him and I don't think he'll change. Uh, he was a great teammate. You can see by the way he plays, he's the first one to kiss a teammate, um, the first one to pick one up to celebrate a goal. Uh, I've got three kids and the only player they ever talk about is Ruffy, and he, when he retires, they'll probably retire from Berwickham for Hawthorne because he's had that bigger presence on him. And it sort of gets you emotional because when he sees them, picks them up, says their name, and they, they just know him as Ruff. The resilience he showed to get back, fight off the cancer, but then get back and play football, it's a real credit to him and um, something I'm very proud of. To us, he's just this um, country boy that's mates with everyone in the office that overcame the most um, horrific 12, 18 months and came back and did what he did. We're all just really proud of it. Got a couple tattoos with Ruffy on me, that's how close he becoming me. I've got the, um, the number two here on the on the arm here, on the bicep, and I've got his initials here on my on my arm too. So yeah, we had a pretty pretty good relationship. Oh, I'm, I'm extremely proud of him. He's been a father figure to me and um, took me in when I came to Melbourne for the first time when I had no one else up here. and. He's pretty much, pretty much showed me the ropes, and um, if I can be half the bloke he is, I'll be pretty happy. Most proud of probably how he's held himself these last sort of few years since 2016, but um, I mean, he's inspired so many people, um, and his girls are so proud of him. Um, and we just can't wait for, for what's next and to share that with him, yeah.